Knoxville, Tennessee, near the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, playing host to this college football battle. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Tennessee will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Complete. It's the junior. And he's level at the 40. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 40. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 48. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From their own 48-yard line, second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Well, the offensive line's got to do a much better job of communicating. The safety that time started to tip his hand and show that he was going to bring the blitz. I think it's a miscommunication up front with the offensive line and a quarterback not recognizing the safety blitz. Slings it out there incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. Forces it to punt. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 22. The Volunteers having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking so all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays uh, I think this guy un totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player fires quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down at the 40-yard line that makes it seven and six From their own 40-yard line, second down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Smith back deep to return. Smith takes it at the 23. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll work the left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back the room that he needed. Incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 45. That makes it first and 10. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Good tackle there in space. Thomas picks up seven yards with that catch. It took some composure on the quarterback's part here to stand in there and make the throw with the blitz coming in. Well done. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Darts it to the left. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 68 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7 0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick out to his receiver. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Small picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. Hey, let's get some penetration here. Mike 18, Mike 18. Just throws this one away. It's third and five. Ball on the 42. Throws in a hurry. Catches it. The 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Quick pass. Man open, and he dropped it. That brings up second and goal. Play. 
This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. Touchdown, Tennessee! That's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. It's tough to maneuver. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Campbell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There's a strike complete. Inside the 30. And down he goes at the 18. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Milton takes it up the middle. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on the 21-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he is drilled at the 28. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive line. Fourth and long here after the sack. Georgia to take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. And he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for game, two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. That's good for the seven yards. That'll make it third and one. I'm trying to protect. Watch 18, 18 for Mike. Down. Blue 14. Tackle at the 37 yard line.
from their own 37 yard line. First down. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down at the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. So we're looking at another third down here. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. He hits the PAT. Campbell has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. Tennessee leads it 14-10. Right. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Sets up the play action. He passes it. Gets it. He's in space. Steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Out of 
little screen pass. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Green nine, green nine. Has some daylight. Inside the 10. And he's level at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Zone touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Brought down at the 25. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Pitch out, got the corner. He's to the 40. And he's brought down at the 29-yard line. First and 10 following that big run. to about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. complete he's got space to work he's pushed out of bounds at the 18 yard line first and 10 ball on the 18 yard line and he just gets rid of it even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And they make the stop around the 16-yard line. It's third and eight. Ball on the 16. He's under pressure, and he hits him hard at the seven. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down right around the eight-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. 
That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Eight yards out. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch 18, 18 for Mike. Set, run. Throws a bullet over the middle, and down he goes at the nine yard line. McCoy picks up about a yard with that completion. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Tennessee is looking to tie things up. It's up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes his way to about the 32. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Nice run there. Milton comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 36-yard line, third down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Is back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 27 yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Out of bounds around the 34 yard line. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. it to the 44. Now he's flushed and they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Hey. 
caught, and he's hit immediately. Quick throw, tackle at the 48-yard line. Smith back to return it. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gives it off. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Gaining 11 yards. First down. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Easy, easy. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line. First down. That reception good for seven yards. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. That's a seven. That makes it first and ten. ten. Talks. He's tackled at the 15. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. The 10. He makes his way out to about the 6. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The pass to his receiver was underthrown, and that would have been an easy six. He could have definitely made a better throw than that. It's third down, this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Just throws this one away. Gets to about the five-yard line. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Well, we've got a barn burner here, and at the end of the first half, our score, 2017, Georgia.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Complete. He's got room. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Ross to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's tackled at the 34. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Georgia is up a field goal. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 33. Taken down in the backfield. Defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tackled after a decent pickup. And he's taken down at the 20 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And 
and he's tackled at about the 31. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 47. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Brought down at the 49. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Taken down around the 41 yard line. Small gains around eight yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Try to change the field position with this kick. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Georgia has a three-point lead. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at about the nine-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's hit immediately. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. down at the 45. Number five makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Steps out of bounds right around midfield. Georgia is up by three. Quick throw out to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. And 
And down he goes at the 33-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Black five, black five, yellow three. Yellow. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Georgia holds a field goal lead. On the pass, touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Thorson ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Throws this one out to the right. Makes the grab and steps out right away. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. his way to the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. Around the 43 yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 43 yard line. Second down. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Right 
throws complete. He's hammered. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. That close to being intercepted. Huge play for the defense. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 36. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. Nice run up the middle. Here's the screen to the wideout. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Georgia's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch and look out. Wide receiver screenplay. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. Fires to the wideout. First down. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Beck fakes the handoff. Across the middle, in and out of his hands. This is the eighth play of this drive. Up the middle. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's level at the eight. Here's play number 10 on the drive. converts the extra point. Thorson looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Completes it across the middle, and he's tackled at the 42-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From their own 42-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. From the 46-yard line, second down. Tackle made right around the 34. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15. Lost the ball. Fumble. They fall on it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Little screen pass. Brought down at the 11. Second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 11. He wants it all going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. He heaves it deep. It's complete, and he's immediately tackled. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Fires it out. The 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He's 
up to four TD passes now. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 89-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. First down grab by the receiver, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. The junior makes the catch. And they finally push him out at the four. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. They'll bring him down around the one yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Down he goes at about the five yard line. That makes it 30 goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Goes to the end zone, and he's got the halfback. Touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. It's pretty tempting to try to push off the defender, especially when the coverage is really tight. When the officials see your arms extend, they're going to throw the flag. 
fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Tailback brought down for a loss. The offense couldn't convert and that's going to cost him the possession. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive and they ended up with a touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Gets out to around the 32. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Just under three to go in regulation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Georgia, 41. Tennessee, 17. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.